Question 7. The diagram shows the results of an experiment involving some bivariate data. The least squares regression line of y on x for this, these results is also shown. So that regression line is the y on x line. Given that the least squares regression line of y on x is used for an estimation, state which of x or y is treated as the independent variable. What do you think? Which is it? 50 50 choice. What do you think, Richard? Say You're going to say X. <coughs> New going to say X. A few people are going to say X. It's X, isn't it? When we read Y on X, in what you're reading there is Y dependent on X. Okay, that's, that's the missing word in that. So, the independent variable, if y is dependent on x, y is dependent, implies x is independent. So x <coughs> is the independent variable. That's the answer for one mark to that. Use the diagram, you were given a copy of this diagram, to explain what is meant by least squares. We were, we were lucky because we looked at this on autograph. Do you remember this? I drew autograph thing and I, I showed the line moving around and the squares changing their area. And it's y on x. Now that's another important bit. That means that we're looking at what we call the y residuals. We're looking, oh, I need the board to be aligned a bit better for this to work. But there we go. We're looking at these lines here. <laughs> it's hopeless. Where we're looking at the distances of the x values from the line. And we're wanting the square of that length to be as small as possible. So we can imagine there being squares. Can we, can, does that make sense? Can you see that, that we're drawing squares based on, you would draw them better. That's, that one isn't very good at all. But you would draw the squares based on the, these distances. Make sure it's not these distances that you're doing, because that would be the x on y. But the y on x is those distances, distance, the y distance, um, and draw a square. And what is meant by least squares is the area of these squares is as small as possible. It's the smallest possible minimum area of these squares. squares that we've drawn. Right, now I've created a slight problem for myself now because I can't see all of the crosses that were on there to answer the next part. But state with a reason the value of Spearman's rank correlation coefficient for these data. I think we can just about see it enough, can we, to be able to say as x increases, these are in sequence. One, two, three, four, five. They're moving in that direction. As y decreases, they're in sequence. They're going in the same order. Does that, can we see that? So if we were to rank all of the numbers, that's the smallest x and the biggest y. So that's, that's 1 and 5. That's 2 and 4. That's 3 and 3. That's, which way am I doing it? And four and two, and that's five and one. Can you see that the rankings <coughs> of x is opposite to the rankings of y? So we're going to say Spearman's rank is minus one. Rs would be minus one. And the rankings of, uh, of y, just, just give me one minute and I'll, I'll come out and uh, take them. All right, it wasn't very nice. Okay. okay, so that's um. Do we have, have we got a reason for that? Yeah, the, the rankings would be reversed. And uh, part four, what can we say about the value of the product moment correlation coefficient for this data? Well, it's not a linear arrangement, is it? It would be negative. It wouldn't be minus one. So it, it would be, yeah, 
I mean, that's about all that we can say, isn't it? It would be negative, but it's not minus 1. We can't really say any more than that. Um, it might be minus 0.5, but we, you know, we can't take a stab at that. And that's maths.